My name is Jack Chatfield. I live on the Triangle Ranch in Harding County, New Mexico, far northeast corner of New Mexico. I was born in southern New Mexico, grew up on my dad's ranch between Tiercy and Hillsboro. I came to Harding County to work on the Bell Ranch, 292,000 acres of prime grassland, where they still do it the old way and stayed there many years, enjoyed it. I've always liked ranches, cattle. I've always liked faraway places. This area here is very remote if you just look around. The first and most important things that we did was put in a water system. We have two 10,000 gallon uh, water storage tanks on the highest hill on the ranch and that feeds water to our pipelines. All the water that's available on this ranch is available at any drinker in every pasture on this ranch. So it allows us to move our cow herding around and put all of them in whatever pasture we want. This area has 21 native grasses. A lot of them are good cow feed. You have blue grandma, black grandma, big blue stem, little blue stem, Indian rice grass, sand drop seed. We have just a wide variety of grasses. So those grasses, some of them are cool season grasses. Some of them are warm season grasses. And that's important because each one of those grasses fills a different niche. I try to let each pasture have the majority of the year resting. The cows, the first thing they'll do is have, eat the ice cream, just like a, a person, right? They eat the grass that is their favorite. And they'll also tromp on that grass and put some litter on the ground and, and get some hoof action and plant some seed. And so I have a tendency to stay in those pastures just a, a little longer, make them eat the stuff that they don't like quite as well, and then go on. If you, if you rotate too quickly, it becomes almost the same as if you just had one large pasture. It's important to allow that leaf to recover and recover enough that it puts energy into the root. And if it gets bitten off repeatedly, then you start losing root. So what you want to do is eat it, uh, eat all the grass in, in that area, and then move away and give it a resting period to recover. There's a variety of ways to get that resting period in there, and you just have to determine what's best for your range. The height of the grass only shows whether it's been grazed recently or not grazed recently. The density and condition of the grass is what you look at in a healthy pasture. This world is a giant recycling machine. And I think for rangelands to be healthy, they need to be used and managed. That is how these ecosystems evolve. If you have a piece of bare ground and you never graze it, it may just be bare ground forever. But in areas where there's a lot of hoof action, it plants a lot of seed and you'll have a lot of vegetation. So that's how you get vegetation in a brittle environment in New Mexico. Uh, you get it by hoof action. Because something works on this ranch and because it works for me doesn't mean that it's the right thing for everybody on everybody's ranch. Each ranch is different. They have different assets. They have different abilities to water their pastures. They have uh, different terrain and different types of grasses. The key is to knowing when to move and uh, I think it's sometimes it's a little more of an art than a science, but you have to be able to, to look at your pasture, look at your cows, understand what's going on out there, and make that decision. Mm -hmm.